Members of various trade unions in South Africa last week protested at the gates of a local company which has been accused of outsourcing security officers and exploiting them. The various organizations which included Satao and Kao among others accuse Imperium Business Solutions of outsourcing security officers whom they then deploy at various retail shops but later on exploit them through low pay or even no pay at all. Yes, 
not four to five years. It's the way they did. It's the way to pro to, to exploit the employees and to make it sure that they don't get the benefit by making them to work more than twelve months as a leadership. Amanda, to bring them to the winner. We want benefit, equal benefit in terms of the collective agreement in the private security sector. Let us on leadership programs must benefit, must have medical cover, they must have provident fund. They actually perform the same duties as the security officer. Who says when you are on duty, people cannot come and harm you while you're on duty? You need to qualify, you need to benefit. Provident Fund should be in a position to pay for those benefits. Disability benefit. When your loved one passes away, you should be able to also enjoy those benefits. We say it in Imperium that we are tired of you double dipping. They get stipends from CITAS. They also charge service provider for the very same service. But they are not willing to pay a living wage. They are not willing to pay our lenders in terms of the collective argument. We are saying, when we submit this memorandum, it's just that if they think we are playing, something big is coming. We will now be marching as well to those relevant sitters, those sitters that they can fund them to run those leadership to say, you terminate this service provider. Because what it is not willing to comply with the regulation. Pansy, the imperial Pansy. 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 Uh, leadership. Uh, most of the security companies uh, get the uh, lenders from this company. The reason why we are here is because this company in collusion with those other companies it underpaid the workers. We we have the the main collective uh, agreement in the industry for the National Bargaining Council. The, Collective agreement provides that a learner must be paid an equal salary to a grade C. Now, what Imperium does, it pays far less than what is uh, written in the main collective agreement. The other part is that Imperium, if the workers are on the learnership, they are not providing them with the benefits. And we are saying, in our view that those things are against the collective agreement. The other reason is that they are challenging us at court, saying that we are wrong when we say a learner must earn an equal salary with a great C. They think that the exploitation of the workers, in particular the security workers, who, wake, who wakes up early in the morning around 4 to catch 6 o'clock to get the employer's premises, that they are correct to exploit the workers. It is for that reason that we are gathered here to hand over the memorandum. Amanda! This is our speech today. We are not in Israel here. This is not Israel. The memorandum of demands read as follows. We, the members of AU, KAU, NOMSA, SAMFU, SATAU, and the Progressive Union organizing the private security sector, representing a sizable number of members, and noting the ongoing challenges we continue to face and confront daily. Come here today to declare the Imperial Business Association is complicity to the exploitation of security officers in the Republic of South Africa. Several security companies, including some contracted to Woolworth, ShopRite Group, Spare, 
public and pay are under fire for failing to provide their workers with agreed upon benefits despite deducting millions of rents from their salaries as part of National Bargaining Council of Private Security Sector main agreement collective. Even so, other non-compliant security companies are accused of not providing any benefit for their workers despite the main collective agreement, directing them to do so, thus forgetting the supplies for themselves. This fraudulent and irregular deduction deny workers their well-deserved benefits, including health care, insurance, and provident fund. We have been engaged in sus sustained company campaign to force companies that fail to adhere to the NBC PSS agreement to pay back the millions of rents due to workers. As we do so, there are companies like Imperial Business Solution that have decided it makes business sense to enable non-compliant security companies to this alarming exploitation of poor security officers by not complying with the main collective agreement and many laws of the public. As the labor broker under the pretext of providing skills development to the private security sector through the fraudulent use of, of the Lenacy program, you have become the main drive of the casualization of security officers. The practices of Imperium Business Solution is absolute contradiction to the principle of decent workers. Through the fraudulent use of leadership, we have driven down workers' wage and conditions of employment. You do not add any value to the sector, but scorch off the labor of others and replace secure jobs with temporal and casual forms of employment. Leaderships are not a tool to, repl to, to replace labor, but an instrument that we have fought so hard for to ensure continuous skill development. Taking qualified security officers and sell them back to industry as learners is the most evil form of modern slavery. While most workers under leadership take home a pittance as a salary and go home without benefits, such as medical insurance and provident funds, and their bosses, Imperial, reward them with millions. For instance, CEO of Shopran had already earned 10 unbelievable 64.6 million in 2023. This contrasts sharply with the situation of many security officers at Shopran who take home peanuts on day pay. Shopran is, is but one example of the company that makes extensive use of labor brokers such as Imperial Business Solutions. Equally, owners of the non-compliant security companies providing services to ShopRite, Woolworth, Spa, and state-owned entities also make millions of rents by exploiting workers through the exploitation of the leadership program. It is sad to note that Imperial Business Solution is part of that method of fraud and exploitation of the security officers. As we know, leaders, NBC PSS is established in terms of Section 27 of the Labor Relations Act, number 66 of 1995 of NRP. In terms of the main collective agreement of employers are required to register and fully comply with the main collective agreement. Compliance with the main collective agreement includes registration with the private security sector provident fund, 
Registration with the NBC, PSSF Health Insurance Administered by Affinity Health. Basic salaries agreed upon allowances and overtime. The current formula, as per the main collective agreement, must be used to pay those salaries. Compliance with the main collective agreement in terms of the payment of levies. In circumstances where the above is not adhered to, the company will be considered not non-compliant and enforcement proceedings will ensue.